our last, almost last category is gonna be upcoming games. So games that we kinda heard of, at least I heard of them this year, things to look forward to in 2018, some are even gonna come in 2019 and we always know how games are late anyway. So yeah, games to look forward to, my favorites, coming up next. Number 10, Steel Assault. This game has changed a lot over its time. It started on Kickstarter as an NES aesthetic game and then later on changed to a more 16-bit SNES aesthetic. It has quite a troubled development with the main developer not having enough time to work on the game. So it's been progressing very, very slowly to the point where we thought the project is dead, but we very recently received a gameplay demo of the first mission. It's only for backers, so I'm not gonna put it in the release games because it's not public yet. But definitely a game I'm looking forward to in the future for its very, very authentic arcade CRT monitor experience. Number nine, Virtuoverse. I am so excited about this pixel art point-and-click adventure from Wallenberg. He's an artist I've been following for a long time and together with Victor Love they're creating this amazing world of cyberpunk. So if you haven't been enough hyped with Ghost in the Shell and Blade Runner definitely you are gonna get your cyberpunk satisfaction from Virtuoverse. So yeah this first trailer just got released so we're gonna have to wait for the game quite some time it's not gonna be here before 2019 number eight moon man or however this is gonna be called in the future because we are expecting a name change soon because the game is supposed to come into early access very soon. The developer Ben Porter was actually saying that it should be maybe ready in two to three months and it was back in August. So I'm expecting it's right around the corner, probably gonna get it together with the new name. So I'm super excited to play this. It was one of the first games, if not the first game, that I profiled in Retronator magazine. Huge environments, interesting creatures. Ben Porter, also known as Eigenbaum, definitely one of my top artists up there. He's the one who started Pixel Dailies. And besides him, it's Canon Breed, another absolutely amazing pixel artist. So a lot of smart Australian heads working on this project. Number seven is Wargroove. Oh yeah, this has art by Luna Cimento or Violacious and she creates just such a wonderfully looking medieval version of Advance Wars. Her style is super smooth, colors that just melt my eyes and I don't even have to talk about how much I love Advance Wars in terms of gameplay. So looking forward to this as well to just play it around, but it's definitely also gonna be great because it just looks so damn gorgeous. Number six, Fleen, Son of Crimson. Just like Wargroove and Virtuoverse, this is another 2019 title on the list. It was recently kickstarted and it's a platformer with just absolutely stunning art. There's a lot of platformers on my list that have really top-of-the-line art and I'm not surprised it looks this great because the art is done by Phil Giarusso who's also doing art for Pathway which I'm also gonna mention a little bit later and animations done by Hunter Russell and her art is also known from other places such as Duelist and Ikenfell which almost made the list but unfortunately it doesn't have a video yet so I didn't really include it. So yeah, Fleen, Son of Crimson, February 2019. And now finally for a couple of games that are going to actually come out very soon, early 2018 is 
time for Aegis Defenders. I've had the game on the show before and it's kind of a mix between a platformer and a tower defense game. Looks absolutely fantastic. That's why I was talking about these kind of platformers that have this smooth style with big clusters. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Number 4 is Moonlighter. This is a game that looks a lot like Zelda, the Minish Cap. It's a game I backed on Kickstarter just because look at its pixel art. Plus the gameplay is also going to be pretty interesting with your character actually having a shop where you're trying to sell all the loot you get in the dungeons. So you're very Nintendo-esque top-down art with beautiful beautiful colors makes for a game world that I just want to get lost into. Build my own shop and live happily ever after. Number 3 Chasm. Yep, another of the platformers and we have one more that just blow me away with their artwork. And this one's also not surprising because the background artist on the game is Dan Fessler, the creator of the HD index painting method for making big pixel art backgrounds in Photoshop. And because of it, this game just looks gorgeous on all levels. Now it's always in platformers, similarly to as in the Mummy the Bastard, sometimes a lot of it happens underground or inside, so it seems like this is gonna be here as well, but anytime the character gets outside, for me, I'm just blown away, and I just hope I can just keep on returning to the surface from the depths below just to enjoy this gorgeous, gorgeous art. Number two is Forgotten. If I was just saying a lot of platformers happen indoors, well this one does not. It has indoor scenes but a lot of it is just above ground and it's one of those very 90s style platformers. I'm pretty sure you've played some of these kind of games back in the days and I'm super happy that this one plays and looks exactly the same but not exactly because it just looks so much better than anything you've ever seen. It has a very, very long development, I don't know, for 10 years or something? It's been a long time and we honestly don't know when that's gonna happen. Kind of like for Cosm, also a very long development time. We don't really, we aren't really sure when it's gonna release. The last demo you could play of this is 2013. Yeah, so I would not include it into playable games of 2017 because the demo we have is just so old and it's already so amazing, but I'm looking forward to what we get in the future because the game is being actively worked upon. I just checked out its github repository yesterday and yep definitely being worked on. So super looking forward for in my eyes the best looking platformer to be released now that old boy after its own long development phase has been released. Forgotten number two and in first place of top upcoming games is no surprises here the last night i have said so much about this game already especially in my retro magazine i've pretty much broken down its trailer scene by scene this one is also published by raw fury the art director behind the game tim sore is just a brilliant mind in his business he made a video explaining all of his decisions that went into making of the trailer and it was just amazing to hear his thoughts and you can see the results here is just breathtaking so this is easily mine and a lot of other people's most anticipated pixel art game I even called it the future of pixel art because it's a direction in which pixel art has been pushing a lot with dynamic lighting but this one just mixes it with 3D in such a new way. Maybe not exactly new but definitely on the highest level we've seen so far. So I'm excited to see how we can push the pixel art aesthetic in the future and Last Night is definitely going to be one of those games. Coming in 2018, we don't know when though.
Again, five quick honorable mentions. Dad's Gambit has absolutely brilliant animation engine with the skeletal based animation but really brought to the highest level. The environments are huge, the bosses are huge, kind of Shadow of the Colossus style. Definitely something to look out for in the future. Hartford Alicia is another of the platformers that almost made the cut into the top 10 but as you've seen I have a lot of platformers up there already and Hartford Alicia at least I need to mention it here because its art is also super smooth, super fluid, soft little grassland areas that just make me happy to look at. Massive Galaxy, why I'm excited about the art of this game is because it's done by Kirokaze and the gameplay itself is also something that's a lot by my taste because you just travel around the galaxy and sell stuff plus space stations, sci-fi cities, the whole sci-fi theme aesthetic is a lot to my taste so definitely an honorable mention for Massive Galaxy. Narita Boy, we just got a video from the gameplay portions of this game. It already stole everyone's hearts on Kickstarter because it's just so 80s. VHS aesthetic with all your video game imaginations when you were a kid watching He-Man on the channels of the 80s. And so Naruto Boy is definitely gonna play very hard on that nostalgia and what we've seen so far is living up to its hype from the Kickstarter. So here it is in an honorable mention. Last up, Pepper Grinder. It comes from the designer and illustrator Reef Hester. Such an interesting character that drills through levels and the animations and some of the bosses in the game are just absolutely amazing. Super looking forward to seeing more of this game's world in the future. And now for the bonus category, kind of like 3.5, it's gonna be top five most hyped games. And I'm awarding them the hype awards instead of the top upcoming games awards because they don't even have videos out. So I could not put something in the background while I talk about them. All you're gonna see is screenshots. First up is Sparklight, an inventive roguelike adventure. And we have Really no clue what's gonna happen in this game except there's gonna be some gizmos that are you gonna use kind of like in Zelda-ish ways. It has art by Anders Ghoul Marsvik, also known as Ichabob, a favorite of the Pixel Daily's communities for his great animations. Definitely worth a hype award. Number four, Theropods. A Dinofield point and click adventure. Boy, does this game look super tasty and with all its prehistoric plus dinosaurs, because we know those didn't live together actually. Still, that kind of theme just gets my heart going. And we've actually had a demo like two years ago on Newgrounds with this little small flash point and click adventure. It just looked absolutely amazing and I think we're waiting for a Kickstarter to happen sometimes in 2018, so I'm super hyped about it. Pixel art is done by Tiny Stuffs. Yeah, I'm looking forward to what she and the other guys on the team come up with in the future. Bunker or Bunker is another game I'm super hyped about. Number three on my list. It has art by Yes I Do, who I mentioned in honorable mentions in the illustrations that was I think art from the game. The uh, website is just in Russian so far, has this post-apocalyptic art aesthetic, a lot of interesting stuff that's gonna go on in the game that I have no idea what it's about but gets me super hyped. There's a lot of 
artworks for it on Tumblr. Yeah, super hyped about Bunker in third spot. Number two most hype is Into the Rift. Because all we get are these really cool gifts of a fighting or parkour game thing that has just the best animations I've ever seen. Look at this dragon. Yeah, the animation and movement are just Prince of Persia times seven or something like that. I mean, just look at these environments, the animations and everything, or the parkour skills of this guy jumping around and getting ledges, time, slow motion, bullet time, matrix, jumping on arrows. I don't even know what's going on with this game. It has a Patreon page that I'm a fan of and uh, yeah, into the Rift, number two, most hype. And now the most, the most, the very most hype, number one is Pathway in Search of the Lost Element. Comes from the developer Robotality and we literally know nothing about the game. Okay, that's not completely true. We have these cool screenshots and I've wrote about the engine behind this many of times because it's actually a voxel art engine in sense. So it has actual 3D information but the camera is set so that each of the voxels corresponds with one of the pixels. Every once in a while Robotality makes our life harder by showing us GIFs from the game's engine and yeah I just I don't want to wait anymore guys. On the website you said it's coming in 2017 and it's not but they are saying it's gonna come out in 2018 and I hope we get some sort of gameplay trailer movie soon because the hype is just killing me. Number one most hype game by the hype that I'm generating Robotality's Pathway. Make it happen. I need it. Please. I need the game to play. <sighs> Too much hype. And that is my list of top favorites of 2017 the art and the game and the game we can play and the game that we found out that we're gonna be able to play these are my favorites definitely forgot a lot of things that miss my eye lobes somehow and there's a lot of things that I have in my list that didn't make the top 10 a lot of it is also just like my personal preference also these are not games that I necessarily say that they're the best gameplay to play although a lot of them definitely are, but I just, the way that I rank them is based just on the kind of art aesthetic, how much would I love to just go get lost into the game world. Yeah, so there you have it. 